Before we can admit you into the birthing ward, we have to first get you to fill out this registration form. But my baby's coming and the contractions are getting worse. The baby's not coming this instant, dearie, and this just takes a moment. So your name is Mrs. Roberts. R-O-B-E-R-T-S, right? Yes, Michelle Roberts on 85 North Hillcrest Drive. H-I-L-L-C-R-E-S-T, correct? Yes. And what is your postcode? Well, I just moved there. I think it's 32K156. Now, you seem to have an accent. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands, so I'm Dutch. Thanks. Now, for arrival time, today is the 12th. You should be here for six nights and seven days, so you should be checking out on the 18th. There, that's everything. You can go to your birthing room now. Thanks. <laughs> Morning, Blackwood Members Club. Can I help you? Yes. I would like to order a set of commemorative golf clubs, please. Can you deliver it to my home? Yes, certainly. Just let me get the order form here and I'll take down your information. Can I have your name, please? Bill Dutton. That's capital D, U, double T, O, N. Dutton, Bill. And your membership number? That's H eight double four nine one nine two. H eight four four nine one nine two. Thank you. Now, where would you like the golf clubs delivered? Eighty nine Mulberry Lane, Carpingtown. And could I get your email and phone numbers, please? My email address is B Dutton at uswest.net b-d-u-t-t-o-n at u-s-w-e-s-t dot n-e-t That's correct. My office number is 415-662-4755 and you can reach me at home at 415-624-9898 Four one five six two four nine eight nine eight. Thank you. Help you, miss? Yes, I hope you can. I left my purse on the bus this morning with my passport in it. OK. Let me get some more details down here and I'll see if we can help. What's your full name? Anne Marie McMurphy. That's capital M C and another capital M U R P H Y. And your street address? 202 C Glendale Road, Glevendale. How do you spell Glevendale? G L E A V E N D A L E. And you say you lost your passport. Do you have a photocopy of it? Or do you know your number? Yes, I have a photocopy. Here it is. My number is. RF double three one three six seven double four. And about what time did you leave your purse on the bus? I caught the seven forty five bus, but I got off between eight fifteen and eight thirty. I have to be at work by eight thirty every morning, and my head was already in the office thinking of things I would have to do when I just got off and forgot my purse. Okay. Well, it happens to all of us at least once. Do you remember the number of the bus you were on? 
Yes, it was the 808. Usually I take the 804, but today I was coming from a friend's house, and it was more convenient to ride the 808. Thanks. Have you called the Greyhound Bus Company yet to report this? Yes, I did that right away. But they also said I should fill out a police report with you in case someone turned it in with the police. Yep, that's the smart thing to do. Was there anything else of value in the purse? Nothing other than the contracts I was working on for work. But it would be nice to get those back as well. No money? No, I keep that in my pocket. Hey Joe, did I hear you taking info on a lost purse? Yeah, why'd you ask? Well, you won't believe this, but someone just turned in a lost purse with a passport in it that was left on the 808 bus this morning. Well, Anne, it looks like you're in luck today. afternoon. I'd like to get a discount card for visiting museums in the area. Certainly. They cost $10 and are valid for one year. I heard there's a discount for students. Yes, there is. If you have a valid student ID card, they cost $5. There you are. Thank you. I'll just make a note of your name, Drazen Hovatic, and you're studying at Newtown University. What course are you studying? Physics. Can I take a note of your address here in Newtown, please? Of course. It's 43A Webster Street. W-E-B-S-T-E-R. Do you know the postcode? N-T-9-3-E-C. Thank you. And your date of birth? Oh, wait a minute. It's here on your student ID card. 30th of June, 1984. What nationality are you? I'm from Croatia. Oh, really? A friend of mine went there on holiday last year. She said that the coast was beautiful. Yes, it is. The tourist industry is developing very quickly in my country. It brings in a lot of much-needed foreign currency. The only problem is that property prices are rising fast, too, since many foreigners are buying holiday homes there. Yes, I can see that would be a problem for the local people. Oh, I forgot to ask. Do you want this card just for your own use, or do you want another person to be able to use it too? I'm not sure I understand. Well, you can give us the name of another person, and then that person can use the discount card too. However, that person has to be a relative. Oh, I see. Is there an additional charge for that? Not at the moment. It's a special offer. Well, my sister is going to visit later this year, and she likes going to museums, so... OK, let's put her name down. Just remember that whoever uses the card has to show some form of identification when they use it. You can use your student card, and your sister could use her passport or something. OK. I just need your sister's name and date of birth. I'll put her address down as the same as yours. Right. Her name is Nada and her date of birth is 29th of February, 1988. Really? How unusual. Yes, she's kind of special. Oh, by the way, do you have a list of places where I can use this card? Yes, here you are. You can see that it can be used at a total of 18 local attractions, and also at six museums in London. So be sure to take it with you if you go there on a visit. As you can see, the discounts for local attractions vary from 30% to 50%. The discounts for places in London are only 10%. OK. Thank you very much. Right. Just give me a few minutes to make your card. Good morning. I'm here about finding some accommodation. Well, you're in the right place. 
Come on in and take a seat. Have you already registered with us? No, I haven't. I've never needed your services before. OK. I'll just ask you some questions and fill in this form on the computer. First, I'll need your name. It's Jatinda Bhatt. B H A double T. Thanks. And your date of birth? 31st of March, 1972. What are you studying? I'm studying nursing. I've been here for two years already, and I'll be starting my third year in September. What kind of accommodation is it you are looking for? Well, I've lived in university accommodation since I arrived, but the university policy is that I now must find my own. I thought a bedsit of some kind might be suitable. We've got plenty of suitable bedsits available. I'd like to ask you about some of your personal interests and preferences. We like to put together students who have similar hobbies and so on. I see. Well, I'm a big fan of going to the theatre. Aside from that and my studies, I don't have any particular interests. Do you have any particular dietary habits? Many students who live together often like to cook together, you see. Yes. Because of my religious beliefs, I don't eat red meat. I'm fine with chicken and fish, though. And dairy products? I can eat and drink those. Now, what kind of students do you want to live with? Many students like to live with people who they are studying with. It helps with doing assignments. Others prefer to live with people doing other courses, so that they don't end up talking about studies all the time when they are at home. I really don't mind what they are studying but I would like to be with people who are mature students, like myself. Yes, of course. It's my experience that students over 24 often have that preference. Let's talk about the location of the accommodation. Most people like to be fairly close to the university campus. Actually, I'm fed up of being in town. I'd like somewhere out of town if possible. That won't be a problem at all. I know of several good properties that fit that requirement, and you'll be pleased to hear that they're cheaper, too. Yes, I thought they might be. Actually, I'm from a village originally, and I'm getting fed up of the noise. I understand. I'm from a village myself. I'll be sure to check that there is a good bus link from the accommodation to the university campus. Thank you very much. Right, we're almost done. Do you have any other preferences or requirements? Let me think. If you think of any later, you can email me or drop in and tell me. Actually, there is one thing. I'd prefer it if the accommodation had a shared social area. Oh, that won't be a problem. Almost all the properties have that. I'll write it down anyway. Thank you very much. Right. I'll just print out the form and give you a copy to check. Good morning. How may I help you? Good morning. I'm afraid I have to make a complaint about the service I received at one of your branches. Right. I'm sorry to hear that. Could I take a few details from you first of all? Of course. First, I'll need your name. Sophia Jones. Is that spelt S-O-P-H-I-A? Yes, it is. And your address? It's Red House, 21 Coventry Road, Sheldon, Birmingham. And can I just take down your phone number? 793225. Thank you. Now, could you tell me about your problem? Yes, I took three films to be developed at one of your branches, and they got lost. When I went to collect the films, they said that I had made a mistake. 
I showed them my receipt, but that made no difference. I see. Did the films have 24 photographs per film? No, 36. And the photographs were of a wedding, so you can understand why I'm particularly concerned. Of course. I'd like to get a few more details from you, and then I can try to trace the films. First of all, which branch did you take them to? New Street. Do you remember the date? I don't, but I have the receipt here. That's great. The date will be on there. 20th of April. Could you give me the receipt number as well? That should make it easier to trace your films. I can't see it. Oh, here it is. T596Z. Thank you. What I'm going to do is this. First, I'll get in touch with the branch and ask them to search for the missing films. If necessary, I'll ask other branches to check as well. Thank you very much. I'll also try to find out why the branch didn't assist you with finding your films. Finally, by way of apology, I'll send you five films from us for free. That's very kind of you, but I really hope that you can find the original films for me. If we don't, you will receive a refund on any money you have paid, of course. Knight's Restaurant. Can I help you? Yes, I'm calling about your ad in the job section of the newspaper, the Evening Post. Yes, we're looking for several people to fill positions. Which one are you interested in? The job involving answering the telephone at the restaurant. Oh, right. That's good. Everyone else has been interested in working as waitstaff. Good for me. Where is your restaurant, by the way? Our restaurant is on Hillsden Road. Do you know it? I'm afraid I don't. How do you spell the name of the road? H-I-L-L-S-D-O-N-N-E -N -N -E. Thanks. Is it a full-time position or a part-time one? Initially, we're looking for someone part-time, and we pay £4.45 per hour. That's fine. I'm available for interview tomorrow, if that suits you. Tomorrow? The 22nd of October? OK, let me tell you a little more about the job first. We're looking for someone who has a clear voice and is able to think quickly. I think I fulfil those requirements. You certainly fulfil the first. We're expecting, or rather hoping for, a lot of calls so we need someone who can arrange reservations efficiently and suggest slightly earlier or later time if necessary. I see. We also need someone who can work weekends and evenings, obviously. We don't pay extra for that, but we do pay extra for employees who work national holidays. That's fine. Can I ask how much extra? 50%. Actually, that's a legal requirement rather than our policy. Working on those days makes no difference to me. I heard that some restaurants provide transport for employees. Yes, we have decided to provide transport for employees to get home at night if they're working after 11pm. That's useful. Otherwise, there's a bus stop opposite our restaurant. It's next to the library. The buses are regular and operate during the day and in the evenings. Oh, I think I know where your restaurant is now. You must be near David's Bakery. That's right. He's next door but one. OK. What time could we meet tomorrow? How about ten in the morning? That's great. Is there anything I should bring with me? A copy of your CV, and if you have any references, that would be great. My name is Mrs. Manuja, M-A-N-U-J-A.
Hello, accommodation office. Oh, hello. Is that university accommodation office? Yes, that's right. How can I help you? Oh, I'm calling to... I'd like to rent a house, and I hope you can help me. No problem. May I have your student number, please? 0345814. And your name? Peter Gilmore. G-I-L-M-O-R-E. Gilmore. Yes, Mr. Gilmore. What sort of thing were you looking for? Three-bedroomed house with a garden. Well, Mr. Gilmore, I'm afraid there's a little problem. As you know, our clients are mainly university students, so most of the cases we've dealt with are bedsit or single bedroom. Well... Don't worry. I will try my best to help you. Let me check. Oh, you're lucky. We do have several houses as you described, but they're mainly in... in the south suburbs. Oh, well, I don't think that's a problem. I can do with that. Right, yes. What sort of price were you thinking of? Well, could you give me some idea? Certainly. It really ranges from £350 to... well, it, it depends. Only £350? Yes, to about £600, depending on the areas, decorations, furniture, and things like that. And the garden? Yes, the garden. That obviously pushes up the price. Right. Well, as I said, we'd want a garden. I think about £450 a month would be our limit. OK. Well, would you like to have a look at a couple of properties, sir? Yes, that would be great. Looking at our files, I think there are three that might suit you. Hang on, i just get a pen. Right. OK. Well, we've got one on Lakeside Road, which is £415 per month. Right. And the second house is in North Woods Road. Right. And how much is that one? That's £460. Are the bills included? Well, the first one includes the water bill, and the second includes the telephone rental. Mm, that's not too bad, then. So... So, when would you be available to see them? Well, I have an exam on campus this week on Wednesday. After that, Wednesday afternoon. Is that OK? I'm sorry, we don't have any availability for Wednesday. How about Thursday morning? OK, that's fine. Would 10 o'clock be OK? Yes, fine. 10 a.m. it is. Just come to the accommodation office. OK. Oh, by the way, need I bring anything? Say, my passport with me? Yes, you should show us your student card and your passport. No problem. And the most important thing, a letter from your bank. Yes, that's OK. Great. And once you decided to take the house, we would need you to give a week's notice of moving in. Right. A week's notice. And do you require a deposit? Yes, we do. That's one month's rent. OK. One month. Is that all? No, sorry. One more. You have to pay for the contract. Oh, yes. I've forgotten about that. How much is that? Half month's rent. OK. Then thank you for your help. See you then. Goodbye.